Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be covering a pretty confusing topic and hopefully we can make some sense of it for you today. That is astigmatism. So stay tuned and let's dive in. So what is astigmatism? How does it work? Why does it cause lights to have glares, flares, halos, double vision, red lines, gray lines, whatever it may look like to you. So we're going to throw up another little picture in order to be able to describe that to you. So here we have the astigmatism diagram. And what happens is when light enters the eyeball, it passes through the cornea and the lens and everything that we've discussed before. But here's where it differs. At one point, it reaches a focal point. But another point, it doesn't reach a focal point. How does this happen and why does that work? Well, we're going to stick to very three very commonly known forms of astigmatism. There are several varieties and aberrations and a whole bunch of stuff we'll cover later. But for now, we're going to stick to the three main forms of astigmatism for why the light does not fully make it to the retina, yet it does at the same time. Let's talk about corneal astigmatism involving the cornea, the front image here. What happens in corneal astigmatism is that the curvature is not the same all the way around the cornea and is not perfectly spherical on a microscopic scale. And in some patients' cases, this can mean that vertically up and down on the cornea, it's a little more steep or a little more flat in curvature compared to horizontal curvature. And like if it's more steep vertically, it could be flatter horizontally, or if it's flatter vertically, it could be more, horiz uh, more steeper horizontally. I know, confusing, right? Well, that's astigmatism. Is a difference in curvature changes on corneal astigmatism. That's one form of astigmatism. Many patients have this, and as a fun fact, just in case you didn't know this, 80% of most glasses uh, prescriptions, um, you could probably throw contact lenses in there too, but about 80% of known glasses prescriptions have some level of astigmatism in them. Mind-blowing, right? The second form of astigmatism is called axial astigmatism. This means that the eyeball is incredibly long. So when it is incredibly long, someone is also probably pretty nearsighted with this. And at some times, certain portions of light rays will bounce off and hit different pieces of the retina before it actually gets to where it needs to go. And sometimes it'll stop short like in the diagram here. This would mean someone would respond well to a glasses correction. It's kind of hard to correct this in contact lenses. So usually these patients with very nearsighted, very high astigmatism, they typically do better in glasses than contact lenses. Now, it's not to say that it can't be done in contact lenses. It's just it, the, the patient will see better or you will see better when you wear glasses in this case. The third form of astigmatism. This is what we call lenticular astigmatism, also known as a result of what happens when patients develop cataracts. So cataracts, by definition, are a blockage or an opacity of the crystalline lens inside the eyeball. Whether it gets thickened, yellow, hardened, they were born with a cataract, whatever it may be, the light passes through the lens in a very odd way that doesn't line up with the retina exactly. And when the light passes through the lens and it skews it in different directions, that's what you get lenticular astigmatism from. Uh, typically, the best way to do that is if the cataract needs to come out through cataract surgery, or you can try contact lenses, you can try glasses if someone's not ready for that, and that can at least help for a little while until that cataract continues to change and progress. So needless to say, astigmatism can cause a variety of different issues. Nighttime especially, because when the pupil in the front of the eyeball, uh, the black hole in the center of the iris, the colored portion of your eye, um, when it gets larger, more light passes through that. And if it's uncorrected, it's going to look a lot worse. This is what happens whenever, if you're driving at night, if you have astigmatism and you're not wearing your correction, when you see taillights off of cars in front of you that have that weird glare, flare, halo, or headlights from oncoming vehicles, or things like that that emit light sources, they're going to be very weird and very glary, flary, halo-y, everything of that nature. That's astigmatism for you. And there are several ways to correct it, like we talked about before. You can do contact lenses, glasses. You can even consider LASIK or PRK surgery. Um, sometimes in cases of lenticular astigmatism, you may need cataract surgery to remove that problem as well, too. But that is the short and condensed version of astigmatism for today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel in order to stay up to date on the latest content we release and new topics we talk about. And if you have any new topics or new suggestions or things you'd like for us to cover, Drop it in the comments below and we'll get to it. 
But until next time, I'm Dr. Bryce Heffington, and we'll see you then.